Thank you very much, Adesha, for that report. Let's turn our attention now to the COP27 summit. Reimagining the financial architecture of climate action demands humane immigration and just trade policies. This was the message coming from a side event at the Sham El Sheikh Climate Change Conference on the role of the state in mobilizing and directing finance for climate and health. Speakers emphasized that finance flows remain inadequate and that effective climate action requires investments from both the private and public sectors. To help us gain insight into proceedings at the summit, Jakim Abdul Hamid Otete, Policy Coordinator, GYBN Kenya, joins us from Sham El Sheikh, Egypt. Thank you very much for joining us in NC Continental Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for hosting me tonight. Thank you for giving us your time again. What was the message that resonated most today at the summit? Uh, well, um, this COP has had its own uh, unique way of running because uh, it is like there is a calendar of uh, uh, events. And today was the uh, youth and uh, generation uh, discussions that really uh, were, pre were very evident in most of the side events in pavilions and even uh, on the streets of uh, the Congress. So today we were really uh, diving into how can we bridge the so-called intergenerational gap that exists between uh, the younger generation and the older generation. So it was a chance for young people today. In all pavilions that you uh, visited, to you, uh, uh, it was a chance for young people to really have these discussions with their older generation uh, policymakers who were brought in the, in, the, in this discussion just to really uh, uh, give us as young people uh, a space for us to engage with them on some of the perspectives that can uh, that will form uh, basically uh, a part of the climate agenda moving forward uh, from today to the end of the conference. Uh, a lot of talk about money uh, was, um, I mean, on the front burner, how much is needed for investment to really make a headway in the climate fight. Do you think that Africa is ready to commit the huge amount of uh, funding required to improve uh, climate? <laughs> Uh, those are the talks that are really going on here. Uh, countries, mostly from the global south, they are really calling upon the countries, the global north, to commit financially uh, to raise their vision from this, from the previous commitment that uh, developing nations made uh, over uh, 100 billion dollars uh, annually to really offset uh, the carbon, uh, or, or rather to go into adaptation mechanism mechanism that countries in the global south have put in place and so finance has been key for most of the discussions and countries have been pushing so hard and i i, I believe strongly that really uh, as africans we really need these finances to propel the agenda that we have especially from the adaptation uh, mechanisms or adaptation efforts that we are putting in place Another thing that is really also uh, demanding of finance is now the discussion on the loss and damages, and countries from developing nation from developing nation from global south are calling upon a play a, a special fund to cater for the losses and damages that have been incurred. And that being said, we, uh, it is the this particular item has been adopted. And the only bit that is being debated on is the finance bit of it, and how will we now move into implementation of some damages uh, goal, so that the countries in the global south are able to offset uh, some of or really uh, may be made more resilient to climate change crisis. Yeah. Okay. What will be some of the projections uh, ahead of tomorrow's talks? Uh, Basically, tomorrow is um, because we have the, 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 the main negotiations moving on uh, with the uh, different groups uh, pushing for uh, different items. And uh, uh, top on agenda, as I mentioned, is uh, loss and damage, which is of more interest to us as Africans, is uh, loss and damage finance. 
uh, where we are really uh, coming into discussions with the our big brothers to really tell, tell them that uh, is, is, uh, they should create a, a, a special fund separate from adaptation fund that already exists. And even more, I double that, that adaptation fund. The head promise to double it by 2025, and we are some few years to 2025. We want to see that efforts being uh, really made, uh, uh, pronounced more, more strongly. And uh, another thing that we are looking forward to see tomorrow is because uh, this COP, again, as it looks, is uh, that there are calls to really get, or get rid of fossil fuel in Africa. And this is another another question that are really uh, really coming up will it take that direction because it's just uh, on finances and uh, whether we have to adopt uh, whether we have to do away with fossil fuel and the other aspect is on the loss and damages for african nation all right Jacqueline, um, I i'm afraid that's the much time will permit us but i'm sure we'll come back to you there's so much to be discussed ahead um as the a summit continues. Thank you very much for speaking with us on the news. Thank you so much for having me.